foul blood drinker. Dracula must be destroyed. That's the pain. Arkham and start working for the summer so we can afford to pay for college. Just get to any university is expensive. We knew that going in. How many times are you going to read that? Until we get our first paycheck. Well, I can't stop you. Dearest Arthur Smith and John Beaumont, please accept this letter as acceptance for summer employment at the Arkham Dock and Marina. Room and board at the Bucket of Chum Inn and Restaurant are part of the seasonal employment. Check in at the front desk at your arrival and all matters will be taken care of. Best wishes, your employer, Vladimir Constantine. Sounds too good to be true. Doesn't look very inviting, does it? Work is work, I guess. I'm sorry I'm in such a foul mood. I just want to be there and get started. It'll all fall into place. I have to agree with you though, there is an air of dread in this area. Yeah, have you noticed? We haven't seen a car pass by in either direction in a long while now. I guess unless you're into fishing and shipping, there's no reason to come here. Wait, does that mean that there's a shortage of women in this town? Oh, silly. I'm sure there's some 400 pound salt of the sea females here with uh, tattoos up their arm and facial hair just looking to call you Big Daddy. Sick. <laughs> you know. Everything's all decayed and rusted. It must be the salt water. Typical New England coastal town on the brink of collapse, and it's all ours for the summer. <laughs> Look, there's the bucket of chum. Oh, yeah, no we should shit. go check in. Yeah, yeah. Lead the way, bro. Here we are. Look at this. 
sure you want to go through with this? I mean, look, the bucket of chum. Yeah, they were just trying to be creative. Do you even know what chum is? Yeah, I mean, sort of. Fine. What is it? It's bloody scraps of fish and animals they toss in the ocean to attract sharks. Sharks? Yeah, sharks. Atlantic's full of them. Do you think they serve sharks here at the inn for dinner? Better not ask. Let's go. This town is abandoned. There's hardly anyone around. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I said hello? Anybody here? Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Can I help you, gentlemen? <laughs> Don't do that, you scared us. <laughs> My apologies. That's <laughs> quite all right. My buddy and I are here for the summer job positions offered by Mr. Vlad Constantine. Uh, can we speak to him? I see. Mr. Constantine doesn't see visitors. Oh. I bet he can't even read. <laughs> I can hear and read perfectly well. I see you also have room and board in our fine establishment. Can we speak to him now? In due time, he will seek you out. My is to get you settled in and give you a rundown of your duties. And you are who exactly? My name is Renfield. I assist Mr. Constantine running this establishment for him and other business related duties. Your name is really Renfield? Yes, why? How long have you lived here? All my life. Although the town has seen better days, our employer is doing his best to make it more hospitable. Follow me, please, this way. This is your room. Both of us? Yes, I was gonna check orders that you share a room. But what if we... If you what? You know, what if we wanna hook up with some chicks at night? Oh, there's little chance of that happening. No one in our chem is allowed after dark. The whole town's just down at 8 p.m. and no one goes out. You must be joking. What if I want a drink or something? The bar is open until 7.30 p.m. and I'm not joking. Here's a copy of the menus. I should tell you I'm the cook as well. Oh, that's comforting. You get settled in. Meet me in the restaurant in two hours. I'll take you over to the dock where you'll be working. Ta-ta! I bet this room is going to be hotter than hell in the middle of summer with no air conditioning. We have the ocean breeze. I mean, you sure you want to do this? We could be making 15 an hour at McDonald's back in New Haven. It's too late now. This place is strange, though. It's like a boarding school. Can't go out after 8 p.m. What's that shit? Sharing a room with you isn't my idea of a fun time, either. I promise I won't snore too loud. <laughs> Said. New workers in their rooms. Yes, I'll take them to the docks and go over their work duties soon. Yes, everything is all ready for tonight. Our guy will find this one most appealing.
The master spoke to me about you. Why? What for? He isn't pleased with what you did. I didn't do anything. No. Mary letters is forbidden. Who is this for? A friend from grammar school, that's all. The master doesn't think so. He sent me here to warn you. If he disobey it one more time, you'll end up in the sacrifice. No, no, please, not that. Anything but that. I, I didn't mean anything by the letter. You're lucky the master likes you. Desires you. I desire you too more than he. I would have a different purposes for you if you were my bride. Well, I like you too, Renfield. You keep me out of trouble, you, you help me. And I need your help. What kind of help? I need you to help me escape from this dreadful place. Please. No, never. The master will allow it. I will allow it. Be careful what you think and say. His rats. Have ears. You're the only rat in Arkham. You better be careful, Renfield. The master would rain down the wrath of Hades if he thought you laid a hand on me. If he knew the things you say and the things you think in that twisted mind of yours. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Sometimes I can't control myself. Your time is coming, Renfield. And when it does, even he won't be able to help you. Remember what I said. Vladimir, asshole, Constantine, you corrupted this town when you got here with your rules and your, your companions. You should be fed by that beast, the rogue. Show up, show up, show up. Your Don't, but I bet it tastes pretty close. You know, this paper is 15 years old. You get news around here? Second thought, do they get anything around here? Gentlemen, if you'll follow me. Can't wait. Let's do it. Shipping is Arkham's bread and butter. Mr. Constantine ships and receives shipments from all over the East Coast. Oh, I was just waving to that young woman in there. Mr. Constantine prohibits his employers fraternizing with the locals, women included. Jeez, is this place a monastery? Mina runs a historical society. She belongs to Mr. Constantine. Nobody belongs to anybody unless you mean they're married. Something like that. You know, this town has a lot of strange rules. Arkham is a different town. This way. Containers and crates arrive here at night, so they're ready for you in the morning. Wait a second, Renfield. I thought you said no one was allowed out past 8 p.m. Well, who does the unloading? The ship hands do. 
When finished, leave immediately. I guess no one wants to stick around here. Your shift starts at 10 a.m. You sort the crates by destination with the code and stack them. Easy. Lunch is at 1.30. Your shift is done at 6. The remainder of the day is yours. Yeah, what's left of it, right? <laughs> hey, when do we get paid? Every Friday, cash. It's the first good thing I've heard since we got here. Yeah, definitely. And let me guess, you're in charge of payroll too? Certainly. Slade, I have other work to do. You can start now if you like, or wait until tomorrow. I'm a bit tired. I think I'll wait until tomorrow. Yeah, me too. As you wish. Remember, don't be out after dark. Yes, mother. I have a feeling it's gonna be a really long summer. Yeah, tell me about it. Ordained time has come. Others serve me as their master. I too serve a master. You will be given to it. Hey, come over here and take a look at this. What do you make of that? Uh, looks like some sort of parade or ritual. It's hard to tell. Uh, nobody's screaming, so I'm sure it's harmless. We should probably follow them and see. Could be some sort of a midnight beach orgy. <laughs> uh, it's our first night here. We should probably lay low. We have plenty of time to figure this town out. Besides, with the folks we've seen, you'd really want to see an orgy? Hear me, master of the Red Seas. We bring you our sacrifice for your bloodlust. I, Dracula, king of the vampires, offer my service and power to you, Sharkula, the devil fish of the waters, that we may fulfill one another's destiny. Come forth and receive your offering.
coffee, sir? No, thanks. Say, I heard some screams on the beach last night. Do you know anything about that? Screams? No, what you heard were seagulls eating the fish that spawned near the shore at night. I think I know the difference between a seagull screeching for food and a woman screaming in terror. I'm sorry, I can't help you then. Something the matter? Yeah, I was telling Renfield over here about those screams I heard on the beach last night. Yeah, they're probably seagulls. See, I told you. Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> I'll see you this evening for dinner. Enjoy your new job. I swear I heard screams last night. Look, if it wasn't seagulls, maybe you dreamt it or you imagined it. It sounded so real. And what is that over there on the sand? Looks like an altar. For virgin sacrifices? I'm sure that's a rarity in these parts. It looks like pieces of broken ship or something. I'm not so sure. Well, let's go, we gotta get to work. Our first big day. Woohoo! <laughs> Master, the newcomers are at their post. But one of them is very curious, and I fear they need to be watched closely. Yes, I'll take care of things if they get in the way. Yes, Master. is in them. Oh, it's hard to say, but they definitely are heavy. I need a break. I think I'm going to step out for a bit, get some fresh air. Yeah, stay out of trouble. What the hell? I'm new here. Did, did you make those? I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? What the hell's wrong with this place? I'm not gonna hurt you. You shouldn't be here. You should go as fast as you can. Go. Is there some sort of danger that we need to know about? I've said too much already. You're from the Town Historical Society, right? Your name is Mina. It's a really pretty name. Thank you, John. There, that's better. See, it's not so hard to be friendly. Do you ever, uh, get out and do things? Would you, um, like to sometime? Let's go. Where the hell you been? I was talking to Mina. I mean, sort of. Who's Mina? Oh, the chick from the Historical Society. You better stay away from that, remember? I remember, it's bullshit. <sighs> like it or not, you better heed that warning, mister. Oh, I forgot, I gotta show you something. Come here. Well, what is it? Earlier in the water, I saw something like big, with glowing red eyes. What? I swear, it was right there. God, a hard day's work has made you soft upstairs. And that chick from the Historical Society, she was throwing these in the water. I think these are what scared it away. A homemade cross, shapes underwater, glowing red eyes. Guess another layer of mystery to Arkham. I think our boss has some weird hypnotic hold over these townsfolk. Something weird is going on around here. I don't know, John. This place is strange for sure. I'm sure none of this means anything. There has to be an explanation for it somewhere. Yeah, well, let me know when you find it. 
I love with you is, is suffering, your pain. I remember each one of you, my master's playthings, secretly one of you, chained, tied up. It didn't matter. You were all important to me. Yes, Master, I hear you. Dinner tonight? Yes. I will tell them. And I'll make sure they attend. John, Mr. Vladimir Constantine would like to have you for dinner. 7 p.m. sharp, dining room 8. Sincerely, Renfield. Well, what do you know? Dinner with the boss. Maybe we should use this opportunity to tell him that he needs to get with the times a little bit better. It's 6.30 now, we probably should get ready. Master, your guests have arrived. Ah, gentlemen. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Renfield, please bring the meal for our guests and employees. And remember, address me as Mr. Vladimir Constantine. He's a bit odd, but harmless. I brought him over with me from the old country when I started my shipping empire. Well, I, I mean, we would like to thank you for offering us seasonal employment. It's my pleasure. Good help is so hard to find. How are you finding your lodgings and the work? It's fine, thank you. But the rules you seem to impose on this town are a bit harsh, stifling. It's a fair question. Please let me explain. I come from a part of the world where strict rules and regulations keep a town thriving, prosperous, free of corruption, make it pure. Do you understand? I think so. But don't people... Please understand. No one is forced to stay in our seaside town. People come and go all the time. The ones who stay accept our antiquated values. In time, you will too. Fair enough. Sounded odd at first. <laughs> ah, a man of reason. A toast, my friends, to a profitable summer. Cheers. Cheers. Aren't you eating? I eat late at night. I simply wanted your company and conversation. Dig in, as they say. How are things going at the docks? Any trouble with the shipments? No, everything is fine. It's backbreaking work. Shipping schedule's a bit weird. Otherwise, no issues. Yes, because of the speed of our receipt and eventual delivery, it has to be that way. Mr. Constantine, what's in the crates? Many things. Soil, food products, that type of thing. No wonder they're so heavy. I must caution you, gentlemen. Never, ever let your curiosity get the best of you and open the crates. It would be disastrous to the product. Never cross our minds. You don't think that we... Of course not. Just a friendly reminder is all. 
Have you had issues in the past? Yes, and the employees were reprimanded harshly. It cost me dearly. Would you feed him to the shark? <laughs> you Americans and your sense of humor. No, I saw a shark today. It was huge and its eyes were glowing red. You thought you saw a shark. Be clear. Sharks are not uncommon around here. You may very well have seen one. They do frequent docks and piers looking for food. After all, they are scavengers by nature. This one looked evil. Then I saw something strange. Mina from the Historical Society. She was throwing these handmade crosses into the water. And I think that's what scared it away. Mina is a special woman. Superstitious and withdrawn. I wouldn't be overly concerned. I will speak to her if you'd like. Now you got her in trouble, John. I just thought he should know, that's all. It's no trouble. One more thing, though. Last night I saw a procession make its way to the beach. There was screams in the middle of the night, and down on the beach it looked like there was some sort of altar. What's up with that? It's none of her business, John. Not much escaped your friend's watch. Curiosity. I like that. It's simply this. We have an old Transylvania custom where we say some native prayers and parade to the beach and offer a sacrifice of flowers and fish to the great sea to help the fishers with their catch. You may find it strange, but we do it several times over the course of the summer solstice. And I can assure you, we don't sacrifice virgins at midnight on our coast. Well, can we participate in one? I am afraid not. It's for the town villagers only. They would be very upset with me if I let outsiders engage in the festivals. My apologies. We understand, no worries. It grows late, and I have other business to attend to. Thank you both for an engaging evening. Till we meet again. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Hey, I wasn't done with that. Not again. This car is a piece of crap. Well, this shortcut was your idea, remember? What's that got to do with it breaking down? Besides, if we'd have stayed on the main road, you wouldn't have been able to bang me on the car hood <laughs> 10 miles back in the middle of nowhere. Point well taken. <laughs> <laughs> but now what? You have to fix it. It's like a loose wire or something. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I think it's finally had it. All right, Reggie, can you fix it or not? Hey, is anyone here? My car broke down on the road and I need some help. Reggie? 
I'm telling you, man, I just don't like it. Mr. Constantine's excuses just don't add up. Something weird is going on around here. We're lucky your big mouth didn't get us fired. You were digging too deep. He was being gracious, but he knew you were being too nosy. Screw him. We don't owe him anything. Only our jobs for the summer? A steady paycheck? Look, give him a break. He's from a different country. He does things different than us. Let it go before you get into trouble. Let's get one thing straight. Not afraid of him or his 17th century mindset. You heard what happened to those who crossed him. They were disciplined. Those are tough words from a supervisor. <laughs> what are you reading anyway? Dracula by Bram Stoker. It was in the nightstand. How appropriate. Isn't that normally where they keep the Gideon Bibles? <laughs> yeah. I read this when I was a kid. It's creepy. Hey, that could be a pretty good place for Dracula to vacation now, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe it would. Sorry I frightened you, Mina. It's okay, but I have to get going because it's almost curfew. One moment. I need to speak to you. What can I tell you? The outside help, the dock workers. You spoke to them, didn't you? No, I didn't, I swear. You lie! I know you did. It was small talk, I swear. One of them saw the shark. Saw you throwing crosses into the water. If our master wants fresh meat, he can take it. Do not interfere. I would hate to punish you. I won't talk to them again. I promise. It's not me you need to worry about. What do you mean? Speak, girl! Renfield! He plots against you in his mind and in his heart. Be weary of him. He spreads lies about me because he wants me for himself. Renfield is a little fly. I could crush him into dust in mere seconds if I chose to do so. He is as cunning as he is stupid and perverse. He of all people knows that you could only love me. Is that not true? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, Master. Make no mistake, Mina. You will be my bride. I have an eternity to wait. When you join me, you will have eternity. stuck in here all night. I'm going for a walk. The hell with all these rules. Please! Mina told me some things tonight about you. Some things that displease me. She lies, lies about me. Cause she's jealous of my service to you. Why should she be jealous of a little grub like you? She is, what she is. I expect more from you. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my master. Oh, this 
place really is creepy at night. What happened to you? Mm, a man came out of the night and attacked me. My boyfriend's missing. Please untie me. I'll try, but how did this happen? I don't know. I woke up like this. This man, did he have a cape and piercing eyes and did he speak with an accent? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, unfortunately, I think I might. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Please come closer. Okay. Oh my God, what is wrong with you? I'm thirsty for your blood. You're whacked out, sister. I'm out of here. Oh. Blood for you, bitch. John? Oh, man. The jerk didn't wake me up for breakfast. Oh, boy. Uh, Fulton has keister. <laughs> hey, Renfield, have you seen my friend John? He was in the dining room earlier, but left a while ago. I hope he's not chasing after that Mina chick. Hope oh, not either. John! John, you here? Where the hell could he be? Yo, John! John, you hear? Where the hell could he be?
John was right. There is a monster shark in these waters. Oh my god. Renfield. Yes, what is it? I need to speak to Mr. Constantine now. There's something strange going on here. Mr. Constantine's away on business and won't return until later today. I handle his affairs while he's away. Can you give him a message from me? Yes, I suppose so. What is it? <laughs> What's your problem, asshole? My problem is you, this town, everything. I know you're lying about John, and I know you know what's going on with this mausoleum of a town. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw a giant shark with glowing red eyes in the water. What is it? And don't tell me you don't know or I'll break your neck. Okay, okay. The shark is a sea monster. My master obeys it. Your master? Is there a cult ring in this town? Why is everybody afraid to do anything? Mr. Kosti rules this town. He has a pact with the sea devil. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> John's dead, isn't he? I don't. Isn't he? Yes, he was food for the beast. <laughs> You're going to regret ever coming here! I already do! And when I come back, you better not be here! Mina, what is it? You're in danger. Come with me quickly. We can't be seen. We need to leave here, now! We need to get the authorities here and put a stop to this madness! There's no time! Listen to me! This town is controlled by Mr. Constantine, and he is not who he appears. Well, what is he? He's the Lord of the Undead. He's Dracula. What? Master, he hurt me! They all tried to struck me! He needs to be dealt with! Yes, Renfield. But not before I deal with you. Master, I tried to fight him, baby. He's too strong. Too strong? So he pried information from you? I don't know what you're saying. You told him too much. You talked. You broke our pact. No, Master, please! <sighs> She's hungry. Maybe she has a taste for weaselly little grubs who betray their master. I served you faithfully. Yes, Renfield, you did serve me. No! Count Dracula, that's a made-up story. It's not real. It is real. And he's here. Now. I bet Renfield already told him about you, and he's on his way for you, or he's gonna send his slaves. We need to go now, under the cover of darkness. I can't go. Why not? Because he has too deep of a hold on me. Anywhere I went, he would follow. She's right! <laughs> You'd be wise to stay put. I have no reason to kill you unless you give me just cause. All right, all right. Mina, you look lovely tonight, as always. He knows everything. He knows something, not everything. I've lived for centuries. No one can ever know everything about someone alive that long. Just kill us and get it over with. I would, but you see, I need your help. Ironic, isn't it? Get your stool pigeon Renfield to get his hands dirty. Renfield is permanently detained. If 
you mean dead, I can't say I'm sorry. Yes, he served me well for many years, but was becoming rather sloppy lately. What do you want of us? It's simple. Help rid me of the beast, and I will set you free. Free? Free of this town? Free of you? Yes. As painful as it will be, it is a sacrifice I must make. How are you tied to the shark? I thought you were the Lord of the Dead. We all serve someone, or something. Even the mighty Dracula. Would you like me to share the story with you? Why not? We're not going anywhere. I'll take that as a yes. Let's see. Ah, yes. It's an angry mob. In my homeland, I was discovered, and a makeshift mob of uneducated farmers saw fit to destroy me. But I gave them chase, and a good one it was. Death to Dracula! Kill him! Hell is ready for you, you foul blood drinker! Dracula must be destroyed! They managed to wound me, and I plunged from the cliff into the ocean. A large shark approached, and was filled with bloodlust. It had an advantage over me, so I used my mind control to communicate with it. If I served him, he would protect me. So I transferred the curse to him, and we ended up here. So that's the watered-down version of the sinister tale. We've been here a long time. Why do you want to be free of it? There is so much more to rule. I am tied down to this pathetic dot on the map. So long as the shark lives. Can't you just walk away from it? No more than I could walk away from you. The shark and I are intertwined. And until it is dead, I cannot leave. As those who serve me, I must serve it. Yeah, it sounds like a load of crap. Don't push him to anger. The lovely Mina speaks the truth. Now what is your answer? You promise you'll set us free? You have my word. I never break my promise. What's the plan, Drac? Good. That is what we need to figure out. Look, the beast grows hungrier by the minute. It must be fed. Do not fear. The master will not fail us. He will bring a new sacrifice and appease it. The only way to defeat it is to take it by surprise. And how do you plan on doing that? Everything must appear as normal. The creature is cunning. It may know it is being led into a death trap. We'll go through the sacrifice and lure it to the beach. When it is close to the sacrificial altar, Arthur, you can drive a stake through it. There's one hidden beneath the altar. What about your goons? I'll make sure once the beast is dispatched, they harm no one. I will command them to flee into the night. Two questions. One, wouldn't it look odd I'm just like hanging around? Yes, they will be suspicious. We'll have your hands bound, loosely of course, so you can easily break your bonds. It's a bit compromising for me, but I'm willing to take the risk. Two, who's playing the phony sacrifice? 
by Mina, of course. Oh, no way. I will agree. Just don't mess with the spear. You know I would never let you fall into mortal danger. It will work out. Trust me. <sighs> Famous last words. A word of caution. Be sure to strike the shark behind the eye to kill it swiftly. Otherwise, you will be its sacrifice. No! No! You promised! Hear me, master of the Red Seas. We bring you our sacrifice for your bloodlust. I, Dracula, king of the vampires, offer my service and power to you, Sharkula, the devil fish of the waters, that we may fulfill one another's destiny. Come forth and receive your offering. She is lovely, is she not? Your bride for the evening. Take her to the depths and do as you please. No! 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 Back off! No! No! Go! Go! Back off! No! Pathetic beast! Did you think I would serve you for all eternity? It is you who should have served me! Ah! Ah! Get our part. You go your way and we'll go ours. Nina, do you not want to spend eternity with me? Never! You don't have a choice! You gave us your word! I lied! What is happening to me? What has that hell beast inflicted upon me? Ah! Ah! ah. No! Sharkula! Run! Ah. Out of my way, worms! You are not our master anymore. You are a sea beast, and we will no longer serve you. Then die! <sighs> we should be safe here for a bit. <sighs> Maybe not. Look! Oh, that's where the foul creature sleeps. We should destroy it. A vampire as cunning as Dracula would have more than one resting place. Uh. Oh, there's someone chained up over there. Help me, please! Who? Who's that? Help me, please! Dracula did this. He tied me up, and then he murdered this man right in front of me. Why are you covered in blood? It's Renfield's blood, isn't it? No, it isn't. I swear. You're one of Dracula's concubines, uh, aren't you? Give me fresh blood. Dracula can have your soul. Poor wretch. God help me. May you find peace. Oh! 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 She called the Dracula. So? He could be miles away. He's gonna sense her death. He's gonna be right here. Let's get the hell out of here. What's 
What's wrong? Can't you get it started? There's no keys. I'm trying to hotwire. Well, hurry. We're not safe in this wide open darkness. Damn it. No good. Let's, let's go take refuge back at the hotel. You think it's going to be any safer there? It's a chance we have to take. Damn it. Let's go. I have no need for this anymore. I must feast! Quiet as a mouse out there. It won't be for long. You know he's gonna find us. There's nowhere we can escape. He is the true Lord of the Dead. He certainly has taken a personality change in the last few hours. It's all so fantastic. It's a nightmare. He's destroyed this town like a cancer. How long has Dracula been here in Arkham? As long as I can remember. Well, how long have you been here? I was orphaned at the age of two. An elderly couple took me in and they raised me here. I always thought this town was strange. People started to disappear, slowly at first, and then more frequently. Ever since Dracula took control of this town, it's been filled with darkness and despair. I was lucky to find work here. For some reason, he's always had his eye on me. Has he ever? What? Has he ever what? Taken you. No. Never. He's wanted to. Many times. But I refused. He could never disobey me. That's strange, isn't it? No, actually, did it ever occur to you that maybe you have more control over him than he does you? No. He's been around for many centuries. He's had many brides. Maybe he never loved them. Is Dracula capable of love? That's a human emotion. He's devoid of all emotion. Well, he was once human, though. And those feelings are probably still inside of him. Probably fighting with him eternally. Either way, I don't... I don't know if that can help us. We do have a destiny to fulfill. Nothing can help you now! Mina is coming with me, and you will die, young man! Like it or not, Mina, you will be my bride! I'd rather die than join the likes of you! Maybe we need some persuasion. Let him go! If you love me, let him go! Obey me! If you love me, obey me! If you love me, obey me! Let him go! Obey me. That's right. Yeah. Now beg me to wed you. <laughs> beg me to wed you. Mina. Dearest Mina. I cannot resist your command. I am at your mercy. My love conflicts with my rage. What? You're the Lord of the Dead. You can beg better than that. 
I'm not one of your conquests taken out of lust. I'm supposed to be your soulmate! Dracula! Ah! Long enough. It was kind of hot the way you were commanding over him. <sighs> Do you think he's gone? Possibly. But will we ever really know for sure? <laughs>